Hi guys, I am back and today I have an empties video for you for the month of July. I cannot believe that this month has flown by as fast as it has. Um, but I did get quite a few things finished in that time, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm just going to pick randomly out of my empties bag here. It's just a lush bag. The first thing that I finished is this Bath & Body Works Sugar Lemon Fizz Antibacterial Gentle Foaming Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. I think I already said that. Um, but yeah, it smells really good. Um, I'm not really a fan of lemon scents, but I really did like this one. So if I ever saw it again, I would pick it up. And we repurchase Bath & Body Works hand soaps all the time. The next thing I finished is the Biore Ice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Biore Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser. It says it clears and cools your face and removes over 99% of dirt for clear skin. I actually really liked this. I am going to repurchase it um, because I really liked it. It smells kind of minty and I love the way it felt on your skin. It felt really cooling and... Um, I don't know it's just a sensation like you put like gum on your face I don't know but I really did like this and I will repurchase it um, in the future so that's that then I finished a into the wild body lotion from Bath and Body Works at first I did not like this smell but it really grew on me and I really like it now as you can see there's kind of some clogged up in here but I can't really get it out anyways it really grew on me. I really ended up liking the scent. You can't purchase it anymore, um, the Into the Wild scent, but I'm sure you could probably get it off like eBay. But anyways, um, yeah, I love Bath and Body Works lotions. I use them from head to toe and they work well for me. Next, I finished this Regis Design Line Olive Oil Hair Mask. I got this at um, where I get my hair cut and it smells kind of like bananas. It was an okay hair mask. Definitely not the best I've used, not the worst. Um, this is my second one, so I don't know if I would ever repurchase it again, but I know it's an okay hair mask. And then I finished this Bedhead Masterpiece Massive Shine Hairspray. This is the second one I finished, and I have another one that I'm using. I really like it. I bought a bunch of them in bulk because they were on sale for breast cancer. That's why it's pink. It's, I like, I actually really like the way this one smells and um, it does give shine to your hair and it's not too crispy and crunchy so I really like it and I have repurchased it. Alright, next is this face mask from Lush. It is called Aisha and it is a fresh face mask. I got this for free because I turned in five of these black pots to Lush and you get a free face mask. This one says spell binding ingredients to smooth mature skin, tightening clays, fresh asparagus, and kiwi fruit leave the skin radiant. When I went to go get it, this was the only one they had left, so it's not like one that I would have picked out for myself, but it was free, so I decided why not try it. And I actually really liked the way that this um, helped my skin. I feel like it just brightened my skin, it moisturized my skin, and I actually think it helped my acne. So I did like using it. Um, the smell wasn't really that great. It kind of smelled like black pepper for some reason. Um, but yeah, I would definitely keep this in mind to try again because I did really like it. Moving on, the next thing I finished is this Body and Earth Elements Butterfly Orchid Shower Gel. I got this as a gift. I'm not really into floral scents, but I actually did enjoy this one. It smells kind of like Bath & Body Works enchanted orchid so if you like that you might like this um obviously it wasn't as high quality as that but it was just a nice shower gel to go through through spring and into summer next i finished this garnier fructis hydro recharge shampoo i finished a condition conditioner last month and i finished this one this month and um to me it smells kind of like wine like it's fruity but it has like kind of like an alcohol smell to it I don't really like it um I feel like okay this is how 
this is how I feel like this worked. It hydrates your hair, but over prolonged use of it, I feel like it just ends up drying out your hair. If you use this probably once a week, it might really work for you and hydrate your hair, but I feel like using this shampoo continuously for like a week or two or even until this bottle is gone, I feel like in the long run it ends out ends up drying out your hair so I would not repurchase this not really a fan of the smell like I said it kind of smells like wine to me um but yeah I liked the conditioner better than the shampoo next I finished a perfume this is Curious by Britney Spears yep Curious by Britney Spears it I've had this forever forever and I honestly can't even describe the scent to you. To me, it smells kind of like an old lady. So I just kind of wanted to use it up. I had a little bit left. So I did use it up and I would not repurchase it. I'm not really going to save the bottle because it's not that cute. But yeah, I finished that. And then I finished another Lush thing. This is Dream Cream Body Lotion from Lush. This was in one of my favorites videos a couple months ago. I really like this stuff and I plan on purchasing it in the future. It's just expensive and um, if you want to know all my feelings about it, go watch the favorites video that this is in. I think it's probably May, um, April, May, or June, one of those. But yeah, I really like this and I do plan on purchasing this in the future. Then this month I finished two little samples of toothpaste I got from the dentist. This one is Colgate Total Fresh Pus Whitening Advanced. I really like this one. It was super minty. Like the mintiest toothpaste I've ever had in my life and I would repurchase it. And this one is Colgate for Kids Cavity Protection Bubble Fruit Flavor. I don't like having a non-minty toothpaste but this was just free and so I used it and it was alright. Next, I finished a very crisp cookie pocket back from Bath and Body Works. This smelled okay. It wasn't my favorite. Um, but yeah, used it up. Kind of smelled like berries, <laughs> as the scent name says. And then I finished a Skittles Strawberry Lip Smacker Fruit Flavored Lip Balm. Um, I've had this forever, and I finally finished it. I used, it was a red color, but it literally gave off no color on your lips at all. It was super clear and super, like, glossy looking. So if I ever had on a lipstick that I wanted to add a little moisture to or a little glossy effect to, I would just pop this over the top of it, and it was really nice. And I have a bunch more of these, so I'm not going to repurchase these this but it was good while it lasted and I feel like this is like one of the few lip glosses or lip balms or whatever that I've actually finished so I'm kind of proud of myself for that and lastly I have two samples from Lush that I have finished one is Enzymian Facial Moisturizer and the other one is Vanishing Cream Facial Moisturizer. They both pretty much do the same thing for my um, skin type. I have acne prone, oily skin, and um, Vanishing Cream is my Holy Grail moisturizer. I absolutely love this. And Enzymian, I just decided to try because they were out of Vanishing Cream. So Enzymian smells like chocolate. I'm not sure why it's not in any of the, like ingredient descriptions in it but it really smells like chocolate and I love it and I actually did like it but I like vanishing cream better so there you go and that is everything I have finished in the month of July I hope you guys like this video and I'll talk to you later